hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you doing i know it's been ages since i uploaded but i haven't promised you guys for ages to do this video which is my skincare routine and i'm gonna explain why it took so long to post this not only because i don't have much time to film but also because i was always delaying my skincare routine video because I thought that my skincare routine was not good enough to put on camera. I have a very like consistent skincare routine since I was about like 16 years old, like 10 years ago, oh my god, I'm getting so old. So I'm doing a very consistent skincare routine for 10 years now, but it's not the most complex one. No further ado, let's jump into my skincare routine. <music> So I'm going to start to talk about the routine as if I just woke up and what I do and then end at my night routine. So when I wake up in the morning, I just go and brush my teeth, I wash my face. After washing my face, what I usually use is my holy grail of skincare. And you guys are probably going to laugh about it because the holy grail of skincare to me is a very cheap product, but I I'm just in love with it. So this is the moisturizer I use both in the morning and at night. I got myself, because I'm a very like practical person, so I got myself a moisturizer that's a triple effect. It's a um, night cream and day cream and it has sunscreen. So sunscreen, at least for day cream, it's the most important thing because sun, as you know, can ruin your skin and you need to be very careful and that way you're not worried about putting a sunscreen on because your moisturizer already has sunscreen protection. So I always apply this after washing my face and sometimes I even mix this with my foundation. When I just don't want to use a primer or I want a very, very natural makeup look, I do that a lot. I really love this one. This is about like four or five euros. It's from a supermarket named Lidl. You don't need like a specific expensive moisturizer. Just search for a good one, do your research and with sunscreen. That's my rule. So after the moisturizer, I love applying lip balm. It's good because you're probably going to apply lipstick during the day and at night it's very useful before going to bed because it keeps your lips hydrated all throughout the night. So. Once again, it's not like a specific product you can use any lip balm you feel uh, it's good but right now I've been loving the Fenty Beauty one I really love the consistency and it leaves my lips really hydrated Then if it's a day that I'm going to apply makeup I love using a primer As I told you, sometimes I mix my moisturizer with my foundation and on those days I don't wear a primer but lately I've been loving these two primers from NYX Cosmetics is their new collection which is Bear With Me and the whole concept of this collection is a very no makeup makeup look and I love because it's what I always try to achieve. This one it has like a gel texture when you apply it you feel so fresh your, your skin feels much tighter and when you apply the foundation it really sticks to the to the primer and works out great so I love that one and this one I love it because once again I'm a very practical person I need something simple and fast and this one is also like a three in one product. You can use it as a primer, you can use it as a setting spray and as a refresher. So it's a must product for me. I use it sometimes when I'm in a hurry. It's very easy to apply as a primer and as a setting spray. So you only need to take this with you when you're going on a vacation or something like that. Uh, just one product goes both ways. So as you can see, uh, for the morning routine I would just do this and then put on my makeup and go out for the day. Very very simple. And then in the afternoon I usually go to my dance classes and work out all that stuff. So when I get home I shower. I always apply a moisturizer after shower. I don't even understand how people can get out of the shower and put their clothes on. It's so weird to me. Maybe because I have dry skin I can really feel when it's not mm, moisturized and against the clothes. I don't really like it so I try a lot of different things but right now I've been loving this one this is called Hydro Babe and it's from La Piel which is a new brand that I tested the best thing about this cream is not only the fact that it leaves your skin very like moist and soft 
is the smell guys the smell of this product i wish you could smell through camera but this is so good it's really i can't even put my finger i think it's maybe roses i don't know it smells really really nice this one is also a must and i apply it to the entire body so usually during shower or after shower i want to remove my makeup so i use a cleansing foam this one is from uh, something, I, I don't even remember the name, I'm gonna put the link below. It's like a Korean uh, brand subscription box for beauty products. And they sent me one box, I really loved everything on the box. But this one is my go-to, so I've been using this, you just need to wet your hands before applying it. Your face can be dry, but your hands need to be wet, and then you apply the foam. And you rub it on your face, it removes all the makeup, and then you rinse it off. I like to do it on the shower, because it's much easier, but you can do it when you come off of the shower or before, whatever you want. So after I remove my makeup, I usually apply my moisturizer that I already talked about and my lip balm. But some days I only do this uh, sometimes, but it's a part of my skincare, so I want to talk. This is the last product I'm going to talk about. And this is also from that uh, Korean subscription box. This is a mask, like a skin mask, but the good thing about it is that I hate waiting for masks and then rinse it off and all that stuff. This one is a mask that you can sleep in, so it's a very jelly formula as well. You apply it to your face and then you just go to bed and your skin absorbs the mask so when you wake up you don't have like that gel layer anymore and you can just wash your face and your skin will look amazing if you have like an event or something important the next day this leaves your skin like feeling really great so guys those were all the products of my skincare routine i hope i helped somehow if you have any questions on these products how to use them or any other question hit me up in the comments and i'll reply every single one thank you guys for watching and i'll be back very very soon oh and don't forget to subscribe i'm the worst at youtube i always forget these things give it a thumbs up and subscribe whatever bye guys